Hey guys, so today I decided to paint BTS's Park Jimin. I think it's very timely because they recently had a comeback called Butter. Now the first step is I do a rough sketch. I don't try to make it look exactly like him yet. I just want a, uh, a rough outline of what I'm working with. Um, the details and making him look like Jimin um, comes later in the process. If you guys have been watching my previous videos, I always talk about how I do the underpaint no matter what. It just means I'm putting a base color before I do all the shading. You will notice that I don't actually make the colors match just yet, so the painting will look pretty messy before it actually looks good. And if that happens to you, then that's totally fine. Your painting is going to look bad before it looks good. But don't worry, just trust the process. Now the reason I call this the crazy or messy part is because during this process, I'm actually just all over the place. The reason is because this is the part where I have to make sure I am adjusting every now and then to make it look like the person. I would work on the eyes and then realize that they're slightly further apart so then I would adjust it and then I would move on to the clothes while waiting for that part to dry and then realize that it needs adjusting as well so then I work on the hair. So yeah, it's just all over the place. This is the part that's most important because you have to make sure that it'll look like Jimin. Some tips I have for this particular step is to make sure you're always looking at your reference photo. Um, sometimes I just step back and look at it from a farther distance. That helps me to see the proportions and see the shapes better and then I can see the problem areas much easier. Another tip is if you're struggling with one section, I suggest you um, leave it for a bit and work on something else and then come back to it later because chances are you'll be able to see the problem areas much easier because you stepped away from it and now you're looking at it with fresh eyes basically. This is why some artists tend to leave their painting for a day and then come back to it and have some new inspiration. Basically, just take all the time that you need. Just a quick ad break, if you're interested in any of these paintings I did on YouTube or on TikTok, then I'm putting them all up on my website. The link is in the description below. They're all available for purchase. Keep in mind that these are all originals. There's only one of each, so if you're interested, make sure to check it out. For this section, you'll notice that I'm starting to put a lot more detail, especially some dark areas. It doesn't look quite like him yet, but we're getting there. On the reference photo, you'll notice that his skin looks really white, I guess because of the flash or just the really high exposure, so I decided to lighten up his skin on the painting as well. After a lot of adjustments on his facial features, he's finally starting to look like Jimin. For this final step, one of the things I worked on was the details of the hair. The hair is actually one of the, my favorite parts because there's actually so many colors, especially of course, if they have colored hair or even just light hair in general. <music> Lastly, I decided to put some gold paint on some specific areas and then I made a second coat for the background and that's basically it for this painting.